Ooh, what is up, everybody? It's your first TV here today. And we're going to talk about this drama between Microsoft and the FTC. Apparently, FTC is calling Microsoft's new Xbox Game Pass standard tier a degraded product. And it's, it's <laughs> apparently, they're saying that they're taking advantage of the consumers because, you know, they increase the prices of their Game Pass thing. So I don't understand how them increasing the prices is getting the FTC in an uproar. Um, when once again PlayStation during the same time period as Microsoft being approved to acquire Activision Blizzard, PlayStation has raised their prices as well. There's no stink about that, but you know Microsoft would do it as an issue. Which I mean I'm kinda cool with them calling on Microsoft because I don't like them raising their prices, but I do think it's kinda hypocritical. <laughs> like why are you calling on Microsoft for this when PlayStation does the same thing? It doesn't make any sense. Like I don't want to pay more, sure, but this seems very hypocritical right here. But um I don't know. As an Xbox fan lately, there's been a lot of like stuff that's kind of been annoying me with Xbox lately. That's why you've probably seen this pause from you uploading videos because, for one, there's been really nothing to talk about that's been that interesting to me. It's the subjects that's been going on in, on gaming have been pretty dull and boring to me. I've been uploading content like that, but um, I, I guess I'll start right here. This is this this subject. I think it's hypocritical from FTC trying to what make them go back on their increase in the prices. I don't even know what they're gonna do with those. Like what can FTC really do? <laughs> they can't unapprove the merger, so what are they gonna really do with here? I don't know what they're planning to do with this, but it just seems like this is a waste of money because it's like people who pay taxes is gonna have to pay fund for them to do whatever they're gonna try to do against Microsoft. And it's just like a waste of money at this point in time. Like what are you gonna do exactly? Make another court case and fail like, what are they even trying to prove with this? That Microsoft was scamming people? Or, like, I just, I'm not really sure what they're trying to do, but it doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, yeah, and wouldn't this make it more accessible anyway? Because if it's on Game Pass, Game Pass, like, the price is going up to 20 you can still play the game on Game Pass. So, in some, some instances, that's way, more, that's way better than what people had before, so... Yeah, I don't know. Oh, what else I to say as well, too? Oh, yeah. So, not only has this been an issue, no Xbox was trending yesterday as well because Evil is currently going on and announced a brand new game, new in quotation marks because it's not new, it's an older game that's going to the newer platforms. And apparently it's SNK versus Capcom SVK, SVC Chaos. It's coming to PS4, Switch, and PS4. Gog on PC, but it's not coming to Xbox. So people are having a, a fit about this, saying so people are angry that it's not coming to Xbox. You know, I don't really care. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real. I don't really care about this game at all. I was like, I have never played the original one, which is crazy because the original was only on Xbox. Apparently, I never played the original, one, so I don't really care about those. To be honest, I have no attachment to this. At least with the other collection that people are angry about, the Marvel vs. Capcom collection. I at least have some attachment with those games. I don't have any attachment with this game at all, so I don't care. But um, I can see why this is an annoyance. But at this point in time, like if you've been an Xbox fan for this long, that's like, hey, you know, you're gonna either you might as well buy a PlayStation or a PC or a Switch because a lot of these games, these these niche games like this, are gonna skip Xbox. It just is what it is. It sucks, I know, but. That's just, that's just what they're doing. They're just skipping Xbox. Uh, I guess they don't think it's worth the time to put it on there, but all these niche games are going to skip Xbox. It just is what it is. So, if you're really a fan of Xbox, get one of these other consoles and have and be happy. Or he's going to be just, just continually angry. I don't know what to say. Like At this point in time, it's kind of like this, how, this is how it's going. So Another issue I had that I want to talk about was that, you know, we're into all, July, almost into August. It was like, where are the first party games that from Microsoft? We had Hellblade 2. Which a lot of people hyping that game up. And I'm not gonna lie, I, I found the game extremely boring. Like, sure, the visuals are amazing, but Hellblade 2 I wasn't really fond of. That game was just boring to me. Um, and that's one of their big exclusives that you're supposed to be getting this year. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to get Avowed, um, Indiana Jones. And another game too. Was it Starker 2? I think that was supposed to come out this year. Why are these games coming out, Microsoft? <laughs> Me as an Xbox fan. You know, I want to know when these first party games are coming out. Because we're almost into August. It was like, we don't know when these games are coming out. So, 
As well as like a trash talk PlayStation about them not having first party games. Microsoft really ain't doing better. Like we really ain't doing better on Microsoft. Like sure, Game Pass has been amazing. Like I'm playing um there's a Flintlock game, the new Flintlock game that just released in Game Pass. I'm enjoying that game, sure. So I'm still getting my money's worth out of Game Pass, but you know <laughs> where are these big first party games at? Especially since you released this since you're increasing the prices, where are these games at? Like we don't have any release dates. Which is a big pet peeve. Well, it's kind of annoying. That aspect is really annoying. So, you know, I've been feeling like super pro Xbox lately. It's been just been on, just been on chill mode pretty much because um, all the, a lot of stuff has just been annoying me. But you know, you know, I try to keep this a pro Xbox channel. Like, <laughs> but I try to make this a pro Xbox channel because I hate when I listen. When I walk. I look at I look at the channel on YouTube. And it's just like the, they just bashing Xbox nonstop. Like really, it's not that bad. Other Xbox people just want to bash it nonstop. So I kind of try to prevent that on this channel. But you know, a lot of movies they've been doing recently has kind of been annoying me to be honest. And so I'm not gonna be like those people who just just like they love Xbox and hate Xbox and they're super pro PlayStation. I still think pro PlayStation is messing up too. So I think they're both taking L's, especially this year, PlayStation and Microsoft. Mainly Xbox because they're not giving us release dates when these games are coming out. I thought, I thought they was gonna do like one game each quarter at one point, like one big first party game each quarter. I thought that was their aim or goal to do, but apparently they're not trying to do that. Are we getting all these big major games in the, the last quarter of the year? Like, <laughs> around, like, the winter time? Like, when are these games coming out? I don't know. That's kind of kind of annoying. And then, I hate when PlayStation fanboys brag about anything that happens in Game Pass because Game Pass is still a thousand times better than PlayStation's offerings. Like, <laughs> if you're a PlayStation fan, I gotta keep saying this. If you're a PlayStation fan, you cannot trash anything about Game Pass because Game Pass is still a better service than whatever PlayStation is offering by far. You get games day one whether it be the Xbox first party or whether it be these other third party games, you get these games day one to the system. Like Fentlock, you're paying 40 bucks for that on PlayStation, you want to get that game day one, it's on Game Pass. So, play, Xbox is still, Xbox Game Pass is still better than PlayStation. So, if you are a PlayStation fanboy listening to this channel, <laughs> you're still taking an L. No matter how much Microsoft is doing bad, their service is still better than what's on PlayStation by far. I don't even care how many games skip Xbox like this. I still rather have Game Pass than a game that skips X, that skips Xbox. To be honest, Just being all honest here, at least I'm playing new stuff over old stuff. That's niche. So, but back to this FTC thing. Like once again, I don't see why they keep hampering on Xbox. Like, they're just raising the prices, which, I, I mean, I don't like them raising the prices, but that's not that big of a deal for them to be trying to go ahead and mark yourself. This just seems crazy. But it's like, what are you angry about? Them adding Call of Duty to the service? Like, I don't understand how they say it's a, it's a degraded product when you're getting games like Call of Duty into the service. It just seems very weird. It just seems like these people, are, they have nothing to do. It just must, they just must go out to mark yourself. Like, I'm not getting the whole that we must go out to Microsoft because you're giving your consumers a degraded product. Like, no, we still like Game Pass. Game Pass is still amazing. <laughs> it's like, you would think they'd be giving this energy towards PlayStation because PlayStation is a degraded, they're, they're, that tier service they got over there is a degraded product. Like, they got like Among Us, an NHL game, and what a nonsense. I think it was Borderlands 3. That's their equivalent to Game Pass. I was like, really? I, there's no way. There's no way in hell you're saying that. Game Pass is a greater product, but not the PlayStation nonsense they're doing over there. So, this is very it's very clear. They have some type of bias against Microsoft. Because if you're going to be for the consumers, you should be going to have the PlayStation for their nonsense they're doing. But, you know, Microsoft's making big moves and people are not happy with that. So, mm. It wasn't taken away from any subscribers, though. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they're angry with. Like, maybe it's a more detailed explanation of what they're angry with. But I don't see this as a degraded product, to be honest. Um, FTC, you just let it go. <laughs> yeah, why are they still going out the bargain off? It's crazy. Like, what, what? What are you still trying to achieve here? You lost before. You're gonna lose again. Like, what, what are you trying to achieve here? I don't know. 
<laughs> pretty compare this lady to the the Wicked Witch from the Wizard of Oz movies. It seemed like it, bro. Like it's like they got some like movie villain s stuff going on. They want to continue to go out to Microsoft. It's just weird at this point. Like this is some weird obsession. Um, they were smart. They didn't create a new tier for Call of Duty. They just downgraded the others ones. They just downgraded the other ones. Every day that has passed, I'm regretting to have bought not one but two consoles from Microsoft. FTC was selling when PlayStation Plus was hyped, and the hype was even more than Xbox. That's what I'm saying, too. Like, PlayStation raised their stuff, and it's even more. I'm just not saying, why are you going out to Microsoft? That don't make any sense to me. Um... How are more options a degraded product? Once again, I don't know. Like, you even got more options on how you want to how you want to get your game pass or whatever. So, uh, it's just like what this guy says. FTC is a joke. I do agree. That FTC is a joke, but there is some issues with Microsoft that I'm kind of annoyed with. So, you know, I can still like Microsoft, but there's still some stuff that I'm finding annoying. Like, where are these release dates up? This is another major thing, but you know, uh, something else. That was a whole different kind, con- whole different conversation right there. But I'm gonna include it right here. I don't see this FTC thing as something major. Like I think they're just they hell bent on trying to get one over on Microsoft. I, I don't, I don't think it's gonna go anywhere to be honest. It's like, what can you really get them with? They they haven't degraded the product. People who have Game Pass still prefer Game Pass over PlayStation. <laughs> so that just shows you that they didn't degrade the product that much. I was like, when the competition is so bad, it's not that degraded. So, yeah, but those are my thoughts about this. Definitely want to see your thoughts down below. You think it's just a nothing burger from FTC? They, they have no case here. Let me know your thoughts about that. Leave a like, like this video, and as always, thanks for watching, and peace.